We had an incredible West Ham team back in the 60s and 70s. No less than three World Cup winners and an amazing manager in Ron Greenwood. A teenager who joined us from Bermuda should be considered just as much of an icon. Clyde Best, who comes from the West Indies and has done very well since he was promoted to the West Ham first team. He would become without doubt the most prominent black player in the top level of English football. Clyde Best trying to screen the ball from Fitzpatrick. Mm, really wriggled past him and here's the great goal! He was a pioneer, but that all came at a price. Almost everywhere we played, he took terrible racist abuse. He was such a special fella, a gentle giant, and it was hard for the rest of us to witness. Clyde's time in London coincided with an upsurge in racial violence and harassment. Sadly, some of this behaviour spilled over onto the terraces, but Clyde had his own way of dealing with it. Every time I touched the ball, it would give you the monkey charm, and I just got tired of it. I'm going to pick the ball up and I'm going to show him something special. And I found out that, hey, the way to silence the crowd is to put the ball in the back of the net. Best. In 1970, Clive received an anonymous letter from someone threatening to throw acid in his face if he set foot on the pitch the next day. He was just a kid at the time, but Clyde played. And not only that, never one to make a fuss, he chose to keep quiet about it for over 40 years. Redknapp. Best! What a beautiful goal! Superbly taken! The special thing about Clyde is that he truly believed it was his job, his vocation, to pave the way for future black players. Remember, there are a lot of black kids playing now, but most of them had teammates of color. When I was playing, I played by myself. You can't overestimate the impact he had on the club, English football and society. He was a role model for so many following in his footsteps. Talk about battling through adversity. Respect, big man.